Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Now, basically what I did is pretty much just skip the whole dungeon. I got a couple of presents, but I think, uh, there's still some left. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the boss. It at least took me, like, um, it felt like a half hour, and I think it was like 20 minutes or so, to actually go through the dungeon carefully. And I thought... I just thought having it all on video would take too many parts, so... I mean, I'll show you it when I walk out. And what I found out about the boss is that it's actually really easy. <laughs> Apple Kid's in there. And there's some kind of hippie in here, I don't think. And I'm guessing they're suffocating. Dr. Anonuts is up there. And then there's a military guy above, uh... That one guy with the white shirt. Anyway, let's go face the boss. Who is extremely easy, because I actually have a awesome item to use him on, and it should like kill him instantly. You're much stronger were than our intelligence indicated. We were not be prepared for that. Eventually, the prophecy from the click apple of enlightenment enlightenment may be true, but you must not. <laughs> underestimate us. I'm guessing those were robot sounds. Okay, we're facing the Star Mandelux. Uh, I guess you can just go and defend on here. No, except for Jeff. Just use a multi-bottle rocket. Trust me, it, it should work. I don't, I'm not sure how much damage it does, though. Did that just say 2,000 damage? Wow. That's awesome. Everyone's definitely gonna level up from him. Who knew it could be that easy? I saw one guy on YouTube who didn't have a chance. If you if you want to know who it is, his name is Nintendo Capri Sun, his Earthbound walkthrough, and when he faced this guy, he he was pretty close to dying, but he did it. He had to, like, heal his team, like, using the highest amount of PP every turn. And we just got kill healing, um, Omega for who, I think. When he defeated the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base ceased functioning. Alright. And everyone's safe if you walk out here. Let's talk to them. I was scared, but I knew I'd be saved if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. You're quite welcome. Kidnapped. Happy. Rescued. I give you ribbon. And it's got the Saturn ribbon. Uh, I think I might just equip to the next Ness, actually. Uh, no. I guess it goes on your arms. No, it goes on your body. Uh, don't get it. Um, pretty sure Ness has it. Honey? Yeah. Uh, it can only be used by Paula. It says that Mr. T wears one like it. Huh. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Ananuts. See you. What? You're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the Onet Library. Freeze used the book to help the Shy Tenda tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Well, I was kidnapped by some Gigas toadies. Yeah, you're famous. Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the phase distorter as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. We've got important things to do. Jeff, Jeff, buddy. Oh yeah, that's Toadie. Oh me, oh my, you, you came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness, I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friend. I'm also gay. I've known him for the longest time. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all the help you've done. Yeah, good luck with that living for 10,000 years part. I was kidnapped from a cow on a milking farm. 
I think they'd get a ransom by cabin little old me. I'm not gonna do the Mr. T voice. I don't feel like it right now. I'm just glad that this is over with. And I'm just gonna get the presents in here. I could use the exit mouse that I have, but I think I'll show you some of the some of the particular different things about this dungeon from the rest of them. I just hope there isn't like a harder boss that you know, like those bottle rockets don't do crap on them. If I run, run into one like that, I'll have to do some serious level grinding then. Yeah, this is where I got one of the exit mice. And this is where I came from, like this uh, ladder. And another reason why I'm like going through this whole thing is because I don't really want know what to do next. I just know how to beat him. But man, 2,000 damage? That's amazing. I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I got another one. I don't know, maybe I'll go back to that desert guy and buy a third one. It's just... Yeah, it's that useful. Probably the strongest weapon Jeff can ever wield. Uh, I thought there would be a present over here. Broken harmonica? I wonder what that does to opponents. I bet it puts them to sleep or something. Or I bet it makes them cry because, like... People use harmonicas to, like, express the blues, and the blues make people sad, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah, there's one right there, too. I didn't bother getting to it because there are, like, four Starmans up there. But now, since we destroyed the base later, the, all the enemies have disappeared, so we can walk freely to wherever, to wherever our heart tells us to. Oops, I gotta be facing the present to open it. Oh, cup of life noodles. Those are worthless now. Now that we can revive people on our own. Well, when we get healing Omega, that actually, um, is made to... Wait, who got that anyway? Ah, uh, healing Omega. Yeah, it uses up 38. But I think it fully, um, revives party members. Like, they have full health. And it never misses, but... 38 pp, I mean, I think I might as well just, you know, I mean, I mean, I haven't had, uh, healing, uh, I haven't had healing gamma fail on me yet, actually, because sometimes it doesn't revive the peep, the person. I think there's like a, I don't know, a 50-50 chance. Ooh, a butterfly. I think we're already fully healed, aren't we? No, we're not. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, I'm gonna heal after this anyway. This might be kind of boring to some of you, but, well, I think you should be thanking me for just showing you the dungeon. I mean, I didn't really give you any other clue on what to do in this game, or in this, in this level, or in this dungeon, whatever you want to call it. I'm talking about level Legend of Zelda right now. You know, like the original where you have like level 1, level 2, level 3. trying to figure out where to go. Is this the end of it? I think it is. Ah, uh, you know what? You get the picture. Now where did I put that mouse? Here it is. Alright. Oh wait, no. That's the way in. I want to go out. There we go. Oh, please. You really think you guys have a chance against me? Please. I have so much disrespect for you. I'm gonna let Pooh take care of all of you at once. Show our toughness. I'm surprised this... I'm surprised the bear is, um... Still standing. But now he's not. Alright then. Oh 
Oh yeah, let's look at my levels real quick before I end it off. Uh, Ness is level 60, Paul is level 55, Jeff is 53, and Pooh is 52. If you looked at, like, my last level up, I think each character at least leveled up, like, five times, so that's... Yeah. Did a bunch of grinding in there. Although I mostly did it just to, uh, you know... Just to get through the dungeon. Alright, that's in, that's uh, it for this video, so I'll see you guys later.